So if you want to make your bot look extra cool and extra fancy, then you should consider adding buttons which look like these to your bot. In this video, we're going to be going over how to do that with just a few lines of code. Okay, so we're going to start off by importing some modules that we're going to be needing for our program. So from next code, we're going to import button style. And we're also going to do from nextcard.ui import button and view. And then we can go ahead and create a command. We're going to call the command support. So essentially the user can type in something like doc support and then the bot can send a message with a few buttons showing up on that message. So we're going to do at bot.command name equals support and then asynchronous function support and context is going to be our argument. Cool, so we're going to name a button something. So for now we can just name it hi and set that equal to button and then pass some parameters into this function. So we're going to say label equals click me and style. Style is basically like the color of the button. It's going to be button style dot. So there are multiple options, but for now we're going to select purple, which is like bluish purple. And so when the user clicks on the button, we want the bot to send a message. So to do that, we need to create an asynchronous function inside this function. So asynchronous function, we're going to name that high callback and the function is going to have a label called interaction and inside this we're going to do interaction dot response dot send message so it's going to be like a reply and the bot can just say hello and we define this callback and we can just set this callback to the callback for the high label so we just do high dot callback equals high underscore callback so now we have a button defined but we can't just send that button yet. We need to define something called a view and then we need to add the button to the view. So we're going to define a view as I mentioned. So view and timeout is going to be 180 seconds. So if the user doesn't interact with the view for like three minutes, then the button is going to get disabled. So now we just need to add the button to the view. So my view dot add item hi. Okay, so we have the view defined and we also added the button to the view. Now we just need to send a message along with the view containing the button. So we just do await ctx dot send hi and then we're gonna set the view parameter to my view that we defined. Cool, so let's run our program now and see the magic happen. So we just type dog's boat and okay, so we get a message from dogbot and we just click on the click me button and cool, we get a response from dogbot. So our program worked as intended. Okay, one last thing though, we can do something really cool. We can create a subscribe button because this command is a support command anyways. So subscribe equals button and then label equals subscribe and then we're going to set the url to a link that would ask the user for a sub confirmation and we can also add the subscribe button to our view so my view dot add item subscribe okay so let's see our code in action so when we type dog support this time we get two buttons so when we click on the second button, we are asked about whether we want to go to another URL. So if we click yes, we are asked about a channel subscription. So if we click subscribe, you see that, ooh, we subscribe to the channel. And right now it's 46 subscribers. So if we reload, 
Nice, 47 subscribers. Oh yeah, by the way, you should subscribe and get this number to 100. So you can do other cool things with the button or next card. As you can see from the documentation, you have other properties that we did not discuss. So disabled, emoji, etc. So be sure to check out the documentation. I'm going to be adding a link to this exact section in the documentation in the description. Wait, I have something important to say. Why haven't you subscribed yet? I mean, you've come so far in the video and you haven't subscribed? Look, it's 100% free, you won't miss out on new videos, and you'll help other coders find my channel. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon when you subscribe because then you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, yeah, that's it. Bye.